Hi, I'm Gary here at Martin Lynch and Sons, and today I'm going to be looking very quickly at a SV6301A, 60, uh, which is from Chelligans. And now before I get stuck into this, um, just to remind everyone that there is actually Tony's discount day on Saturday, um, the 18th of March. Um, so do pop down and actually see all of the uh, fun and games. I think uh, they've got all sorts of things going on and uh, they've been through every single corner, I think, of the of the uh, showroom and uh, in stores, getting all sorts of things out. So it's going to be quite interesting. So do come down. OK, so what we're looking at today, this is a VNA. It's a, it's a new model that has come out from Chelligans. Um, and essentially what this is, is a VNA which goes right the way up to six gigs. And that is a very useful uh, frequency indeed. This is ideal for those of you maybe that are designing sort of things like uh, 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 antennas for things like drones or Wi-Fi and that sort of stuff. Really, really neat piece of kit. This is one of the most popular models of VNA. Really, really good value for money. I'm gonna show you some just the close-ups of, of this uh, unit. Unfortunately, as we do this video, it's so new that the software and drivers and things like that aren't out at the moment. I'm gonna to speak to the factory now um, when this video is done and actually get all those things that we'll put in place. But it's a really, really exciting piece of equipment. So let's have a quick look. Okay, so what do you get in the package? Well, you obviously get the unit itself. Now here we've actually got a couple of N-type connectors, which with uh, SMA connectors on the end, um, the, you get the important calibration kit, which are used to set the device up, which is very, very useful. There's also a couple of um, little adapters in there as well. So you can change like gender change and all that sort of stuff. Um, so that's all comes with it. You get a USB-C cable. That is a, it charges with a USB-C charger um, port. What I will say about this is, um, these do require quite a bit of current to charge these up. There's two 18650 batteries in, the, in, in this. Um, I really do recommend using sort of something like the Raspberry Pi for power supply adapters we do keep those in stock so if you want one of those at the same time do shout we'll actually sort one of those out for you they charge much nicer you we have mixed success with these charging from things like pcs and and sort of phone adapters these just draw just that little bit too much current for them to to work properly so you get a usb-c cable but you also get two fly leads as well now these are beautifully made. Now the colour may change. I mean, I've seen red ones, blue ones and black ones, but they're approximately, what's that, about four or 500 mil long um, with an SMA male on each end. And in conjunction with the little adapters, you can pretty much do what you need to do. Very, very useful. And of course the important carry case. And inside that is padded with a little zipper pocket at the top show you that so there you go it's got like a padded bottom little zipper pocket so you can put your bits and pieces what I would recommend with these things is that rather than I've seen people send these in sort of with the screen side up and if there's anything in this pocket then obviously it can rub on that so I always recommend people put them in sort of screen side down and then when they've got all their bits and pieces in the top it doesn't damage the screen so that's what you get in the box. Let's have a quick look at the functionality. Okay, so this is the, the main screen and it's very similar to the, the 4401 um, screen. It works in exactly the same way. You've got different sort of channels, if you like, or the different uh, modes. And if you have them all enabled and it will be enabled that way when you get it, it's, you can see just about everything on there. So let's turn those off and we'll just work with one for the moment. So you can just see the basic operation. Now I'm going to take one of the adapters and we're going to put it on port number one. Okay, and you can see that it's actually doing stuff. Got my little antenna. I've just put the adapter on 
and I'm just going to put this on. Now, I know this antenna is around, I think, 5 gigs, 6 gigs, sort of Wi-Fi, that sort of thing. Now, I've actually pre-done this. I've got a little selection here of 2 to 6 gigs. Now, let me show you how you change that. So if we go up here to the stimulus, and we can then set, say, frequency here, and then we can just type in in here we can set the the start frequency we can set the stop frequency there and um, that will give us the the span we can also set this in either in gigahertz megahertz or kilohertz but i've set this up for the interest of this little demo i'm going to set this up for for two and six so we'll just go we'll clear that we'll just go back close and back um, so we've gone between two and six gigs um, and I know this antenna is somewhere around that and I've set this first um, mode up for or this um, or, or it's actually a marker so I set the first marker up for for SWR and how I did that was if you just tap and hold on that you can then set the format and you can then you know set this for pretty much um, whatever you want or whatever you're trying to to uh, to measure so we'll set this up for SWR and now we want to add a marker so let's go back and we just tap on marker and we'll say marker on um, test one and we'll say back so we should have now oh no maybe not let's go again set the marker select marker one so now we've got a marker here and I can drag that marker to pretty much anywhere on this. And you'll see at the top here, it's actually giving me the frequency and the SWR just at the top there. Now there's lots of other measurements that you can do. You can um, do things like TDR, phase here, and I've got, there's a Smith's chart as well, if you want to enable the Smith chart. Um, and you can, again, with all the software, you can actually print all of these images out and maybe do just like a little report or something like that, whatever you want to do. So, yeah, it's a pretty useful piece of kit. Like I said, this goes up from one megs right the way up to 6.3 gigs, um, which is a very useful frequency, especially if you're designing antennas for Wi-Fi and, and things like the, you know, the drones and that sort of stuff. It's really, really useful. It's got tons and tons of uses I'm, I'm sure you'll find some but i'm going to do a little bit more of an up uh, an in-depth video of maybe the software when it comes out and i'll show you a little bit more how this actually functions um but as i say it's quite new we don't have it all of the stuff at the moment but i'm going to go and chase the factory up now and get that sorted so hopefully that is just a little taster of this little uh, new piece of equipment and um yeah there you go so we have these in stock. Do give us a call in store on 0345 or you can email sales at hamradio.co.uk um, and we'll be able to help you with this. Any questions at all, you can always pop us an email at support at hamradio.co.uk um, and we'll try and answer as many questions as, uh, as we can. So thanks for watching and uh, hopefully we'll see you on Saturday. Thanks for watching. Well, very, very good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in the world. Probably not where I am. Um, I'm just here to say, from my hospital bed, a very good day to you, and hopefully you're all revved up to come along to the 18th of March, which is this weekend for our fantastic Tony's Discount Day, uh, and indeed a sale of 40 fines. So I'm not gonna blab on, because in an hour and a half I'm in surgery, but don't worry. It's nothing super major, just the old quad bypass, but I'm sure I'll get past that. And uh, you can all wish me, uh, wish me well when I finally come out the other side. So don't forget the 18th, this Saturday, doors open at 8.30, come along, bring your trade-ins as well, bring your cash and bring your mates, because it's gonna be a great day out. All best.